Falcon red and Falco blue or purple. All right, so let's see. Let's see how this match is going. So, uh, EQ actually off to a pretty all right start. Uh, Nixie already knocking on death's door with 150%. Uh, but is he going to be able to seal out the kill? No, that's going to be Nixie taking the first kill here. Uh, now he's going to have to try and just get in on him. Falcon's a really fast character, and like with a lot of his buffs, he he's really hard to catch. Uh, you know, he's got the added armor or like the early activation on the Raptor boost. And the mines is going to be flying around everywhere. But if you, you could punish a whiff like that normally, but uh, EQ kind of falling apart right there. Uh, still able to get the juggle and t kill him off the top. So evening up those stocks there. Okay. You could doing a really good job, uh, you know, just like keeping it even, taking it, trying to get a small lead, but now in an uh, offstage situation here, what can Nick do? Uh, kind of get it reversed on him, and EQ takes the first stock. Uh, second stock, I mean. Takes the kill from that. <laughs> Alright, EQ, uh, Nixie gonna be evening it up. Sorry, one second, I have to finish up on the last set. Uh. Yeah, for sure, Aoda. These are just all birds. All burbs. Alright. Alright, so next you're going to be taking the first game with, uh, with the gentleman. Just that jab, strong jab three. Off the side, you know. As mentioned earlier, you know, Smashville's ledge to side blast zone is uh, closer than average, and yeah, he didn't go like super fast. So like, you know, he might have been able to live uh, on a different stage for something like that. Oh. All right, here's where EQ was able to even up those stocks. Right. Mm. Ooh. He keep with a small lead here, but then Nixie was able to even it up. And then he finally turned it around. Ready? Boom. 
Okay, so let's see where we're going to next. Three, Battlefield. Okay. One, so I guess I... I don't know. I feel like this is not a bad stage for Falcon just because, like, he's kind of on the heavier side or sometimes it feels that way. And just because he has, like, so much mobility, ca trying to catch him uh, can be a real pain in the ass. Uh, but let's, you know, see what he's got going for him. Uh, right now, it's, you know, percent still pretty even, so it's, you know, I can go either right, either way. Uh, the larger blast zones, like, the only stocks we saw kill off the top was by EQ. So the extra high blast zone might end up being a little bit more harmful to himself. Uh, maybe he just wants to be able to live off the side a little bit more. Uh, you know, uh, Battlefield in general is a pretty large stage. Although, I'm pretty sure the sides are normal. I don't know. What? Tries to hit him with the dare. I, I probably would have wanted to see, like, a runoff fair or something because just a nice constant hitbox. But and anyway, uh, back into new, uh, center stage. See what can happen in this situation. Uh, and, you know, like, that top platform is going to also, like, kind of hinder uh, the juggle ability that, uh, you know, EQ was able to get prior uh, just because, like, there's too many dimensions of movement in, like, terms of, like, 50 50 So, like, going to go through the platform, where they're going to land, and just like that. But down tilt going to take him off the top, super high percent. So that's going to do it for him. Uh, now, this is a pretty... A uh, pretty good situation for EQ. A stock lead on a big stage like Battlefield uh, can be really good for you just because, like, you have all the space in the world, both horizontally and vertically. And, yeah, we're just seeing EQ just kind of, you know, taking this to the bank right now. Uh, still on his first stock, and even though he's at high percent, you know, like, Falcon needs to look for that setup to get the kill. Uh, and just, you know, with just all the different options of uh, position you can pick on a stage like Battlefield, that's going to be kind of hard. Yeah, still not going to do it. Uh, living to 144 after hit. And 155 to a Falcon back air all the way across the stage to the top corner. I like that going uh, extra high. Uh, Fair 2 finally going to seal out that first stock there for Nick C. But, you know, he's got his work cut out for him. Lots of damage uh, on him already on his last stock. Well, EQ's on a fresh second stock right now. Uh, you know, Nixie is an extremely explosive player, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to, like, take something out. But we might have to... Ooh. This is uh, looking really good for EQ right now. If Nixie were able to get some, like, wonky kill right now... You know, oh, maybe, just because of how explosive Falcon is. But I don't know, 166? He has to he has to play the don't touch, get hit game. Which, I mean, I guess he's not doing the worst. And, all right. I mean, 160, 180, what's the difference at that point, honestly? Uh, right now, he's just like, and if he gets hit by anything that's remotely strong, he'll die. So, like, any of those other hits are going to be okay. That, that up air came awfully close to getting that kill. Okay. Oh, man. EQ's hitting his shield a lot and, and eating a lot of those Falcon dives. And that's going to be uh, his second stock. So, Nick C now at 190. He was able to basically take that whole stock uh, at almost kill percent the entire... Never mind. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Mid height up air by Falco, uh, still able to take him off the top. You know, lived up to 190. We'll go into those, those brawl percents. Yeah, as we're gonna see right here, you just kind of uh, whoop. There it is. And it was even like the later hit of it. You know, not that it's like sour, but it's just like he put it out over there, and then like, yep, nope, still gonna get hit by this. So yeah, uh, EQ actually going to be evening up the set here. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Now, counter pick advantage is to Nixie's favor. Uh, let's see what kind of stage we're going to go to. Man, that trade, uh, that's what did it all for EQ right there. That's what helped him get, like, such a really good uh, position. You know, and just the fact that, like, you know, Battlefield really did work out, you know, because, like, it, be able to get a lead like that uh, and then play on such a spacious stage really 
makes it uh, it easier to maintain a lead. You know, uh, like trying to keep things even when you have like large blast zones is really difficult because it's just like, well, how do I kill them? Because like <laughs> moves that would like hit like uh, a stray could do it, but not really on battlefield. Not really on those larger ones. All right, so let's see where we're going to next. All right, we're going to Kalos. So this has um, same or similar uh, blast zones as uh, Battlefield, uh, but the layout is completely different. So you know it's going to be v it's very similar to FD. It's a wide open space, but those platforms are going to mix up uh, recoveries uh, on the sides. And but it does have a battlefield ceiling, so it's extremely high. So we're going to be in a very similar situation of like trying. To, if you're able to get a stock lead here, you're going to be in a very good position. Uh, those those platforms, much like battlefield, give you a really good like like a circle camping uh, sort of thing. And uh, yeah, basically, if you get the stock lead, you're going to be in a really good position here. And it looks like you know EQ's right now on the offensive on the edge guard, but going to get hit by the late. Grab hit of the uh, Falcon Dive. Man, they, they made that move just grab forever. It's so different. Oh, okay. Abysmal DI, but still able to make it back. Careful. Take advantage of the fact that you have wall jumps. Both of these characters have access to that. I'm pretty sure Falcon does. But EQ going to be taking the first stock. Uh, again, this is going to be a really good position if he's able to rack up enough damage here. Now, if he's able to play it safe again, maybe learn from his mistakes and not hit shield too often to get uh, upbeat out of shield as a punish against him. You know, he, this could be his set. Um, ooh! Uh, strong hit, dash attack, even with no rage, you're going to still take him off the top, evening it out. Nixie not going to let him uh, punish him. Uh, as hard as he did in the last one, that you know, it was really that that trade that was just like one errant uh, like overextension. All right, now just back to back percents right now. Let's see. Second. All right, so yeah, Nixie able to take the second stock. Oh, I kind of missed it. I guess we'll catch it in the replay. Um, yeah, so this is again, you know, like I said, you know, big blast zone stages are going to be a really good position for when you have the lead. Ooh, this could be that. Could oh, Nixie trying to end it right then and there. Uh, you know, honestly, a valiant effort just because, like, versus Spacey's, like, they have such a wide opening uh, for just being able to take advantage of them off stage. They're just literal sitting ducks when they're just, like, s charging there. But uh, Nixie wasn't able to be as precise as he probably wanted. Uh, and so now we're back on our last stocks here. Uh, Nixie with a small percent lead. Uh, Falcon's definitely uh, heavier than Falco, so this is, you know, a, a bigger lead than it might look like. But, you know, Falco has some pretty uh, disgusting roots that can put you in very precarious situations that he can take advantage of. And, you know, EQ's evening it up. Oh, and gonna get the spike. So EQ is gonna advance 2 1 over Nick C. Good stuff to EQ. Let's see how that all went. Wowee. Boom. <sighs> really unfortunate stuff for Nixie. He was, you know, that, that's just like how I said how Spacey's are like kind of limited in the recovery. Uh, so is Falcon, you know, you, you can't, especially if you're exhausted a jump, like what are you really supposed to do? You know, so if you if you got the lock on where they're gonna go, uh, you just throw it that big old move. Uh, well, big play move, not big move, but yeah, you just get that spike out and yeah, gonna seal it in. I think this is oh my god, that yeah, I missed that. Wow, 
he just <laughs> he's like, oh, I can just do regular getup. I'm across the stage. It's fine. I'm safe. And then here he comes out on the SD. Oh my God, that could have just been the whole. That could have been the set right then and there. Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah. Let's see that last kill one more time. Boom.